Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I retouch this photo from this to this in Luminar 2018, coming up. Before we get into the video, if you are interested in Luminar 2018 at any point, you can download the software using the link in the description below. And also when you check out, you can use a coupon code MING to save additional $10. All right, now let's head over to the computer and I will show you how I edit this photo. Now we are inside Luminar 2018 and this is the photo we are going to edit. First come to the right hand side and click on clear workspace. And in the drop down menu, I will go to professional. So I so I have the professional workspace. If you are familiar with Lightroom, you are already familiar with these tools already. Uh, for example, highlight shadows works very similar to what's in the Lightroom. So I'm, go I'm going to pull down the highlights a little bit. I'm going to boost up the shadow a little bit. And then I'm going to set the black point like that and I am going to maybe change the white point a little bit, just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to double click on the photo to zoom to 100% scale so I can see better and then I can add a little bit clarity. I don't want to add too much clarity, just a little bit. And a double click to zoom back to uh, fit to the screen scale and we can move on to the noise. I'm going to skip this step first. I'm going to work on the saturation. I'm going to add a little bit more saturation into the photo. All right, now as you can see, the water right here is too blue and I will fix that just in a little bit. I'm going to continue to this Accent AI feature. I think that works pretty good Use, using the boost slider, I can boost the midtone. Maybe around that. Okay. And then dehaze, I don't need to dehaze. Remove color cast, I think right now is already pretty good. And advanced color, advanced contrast, curves, polarizing future, HSL. I'm not going to touch this. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of vignette like that maybe. You can click on this eye icon to see the before. So this is without vignetting effect and this is the vignetting that we added into the photo. Well actually let me go back to the top. I think I should adjust this first. I'm going to change the white balance to make it a little bit warmer. Because it's autumn, because we have all the golden colors in the photo, I want to uh, stress that so I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer like this all right now I'm going to fix the blue in the water so I, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this plus sign and add new adjustment layer and then I can click on this to grab the brush then I can draw on the water and you can click on this eye icon here so you can see the area that you have drawn and once you draw the area that you want to edit for this layer, we can turn that off and then go to clear workspace to the drop down menu and then click on professional. So we have the same tools and then I'm going to HSL tool. I'm going to decrease the saturation because the blue in the water is too saturated. So I'm going to decrease the saturation from the water. Maybe like that. So you can click on this eye icon again to see this is before, this is after. We just removed some blue from the water. All right, now let's go back. Now, overall, in terms of contrast, saturation, exposure, I think the photo is pretty good right now. And I'm going to add some special effects into this photo without going into Photoshop. And first, I'm going to select the base layer and then I'm going to click on this Add Filters button and I'm going to add a sun rays filter because I think the highlight right here is very good for this sun rays filter. So just click on it and then you have the sun rays module 
right here and you can click on this play sound center now you can move this sound around maybe I like the position here now I can adjust the sound rays for example I can increase the amount or decrease the amount you can change the look and you can make it warmer or make it cooler so in this case I'm going to make it warmer maybe like that and you can change the radius of the sun the radius of the glow and the temperature of the glow I'm going to make it a little bit warmer as well uh, maybe maybe that's not too much I'm going to put it just a little bit lower all right and then I may reduce the length just a little bit all right okay and the next effect I found works pretty good is the Orton effect so click on Orton effect you have two types type 1 and type 2 I found a type 1 is a little bit stronger I'm gonna go with type 1 and then just increase amount maybe maybe like that alright so you can click on this eye icon again this is before this is after alright I'm going to click on this place sound center again to remove this white dot right there alright now let's select the layer again so we can see the effect on this water and overall I think now this photo is much much better just a couple of clicks and just a couple filters and you can click on this eye icon right here to see the before overall it is very flat it's not very interesting and this is after we add some interesting elements into this photo and overall I think it looks much better and you can do that just in a couple minutes very quick very easy to do Alright guys, that's it from me today. Don't forget, if you want to check out Luminar 2018, you can use the link in the description below. And also when you check out, you can use a coupon code MING to save additional $10. Alright guys, I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Alright guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.